Alrighty guys, how's it going? Okay, guess what? Pistol class setup time, and not only a pistol class setup, but the best pistol class setup for the 1911. Okay, so we got this thing set here in gold, looking all kinds of pretty. Now, the 1911 on here is, in all honesty, not one of my favorite pistols. It's probably my my least favorite would have to be the revolver before you get snake shot on it, but I'm still gonna place it at the end because like snake shot's one of the last things you unlock for it. So most of the time, if most of y'all who will be using the 357 mag on here, it's gonna suck monkey nuts until you actually get snake shot. But this will be after. I don't know what it is. Like I love how 1911s look IRL and on this game. Like this right here, I think sports gold better than any pistol we've done so far. I mean, it's just got that classic nice metal finish to it and it looks so good but we're gonna take an op in here and i'm gonna show you what attachments you should rock with this thing and we'll hop in a game and we'll run through some people but for the muzzle i always take and throw that compensator on there you know it's one of the main go-to's for the pistols muzzle brake or monolithic suppressor is just fine you just cycle between those three and pick the one that you feel feels works best for you but for recall management um, and accuracy, I think the compensator is 1,000% uh, your best option. For the barrel, we want to go with the 45 match grade because the extra damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control is what you'll want to slam on these pistols since your ADS time is already so great. Uh, then we're going to go down to trigger action, put the lightweight trigger because this thing has a slow rate of fire. I mean, like, the lightweight trigger to me should be what the 1911's fire rate is stock. Then over to ammunition, we got the 15 round mag. We'll throw that bad boy on there. We'll throw like 15 rounds is Jack Diddley, okay? Now, I mean, this thing can be like a two shot up close, I believe. But I mean, in most cases, it's going to take more than that to get on point because this thing has, it has a very different ADS fire uh, feel to it. And you'll, you'll notice that once you start to use it and once you see it in game. Finally, we're going to take and throw a laser on there. Now this, now like I said, with the 1911, it's one of the few guns that I can actually see an advantage whenever I use an optic, but I still prefer to have uh, the tack laser on there just for that slight ADS balance that it, that it gives us for like adding a little bit of speed to our ADS time that we take away um, with like the ammunition and the barrel attachment that we add to it. Um, so just play around with that and see which one you like better, but this right here is the best setup that I've found for this gun on the road to getting it gold. Um, and I've used a bunch of, of different variants in games along with whenever I play gunfight, the 1911 gets thrown in there a lot with different, uh, with different like loadout setups and stuff. And this right here has definitely got to be my favorite and the one I've found to be the most successful in actual public matches. Before we leave, just to recap the whole class, in our primary weapon slot, we have the riot shield with, uh, I don't even know what camo that is, doesn't really matter. Perks, we're rocking EOD, hardline, and shrapnel as always. Then we got the old friggity frag grenade and the flash grenade. Uh, I think, like I said, stun, flash, one of those is the best too. And then all these, like... That one, now let me say this, the gas grenade's nothing to mess with, like at all. Like you get a lot of advantage out of that because where your the character starts choking and stuff whenever they get hit with it. Um, but I still like the, the good old reliable flash and stun grenade. Beautiful. Okay, we got team deathmatch on shoot house. I was really glad I wanted team deathmatch or kill confirm because I would not want to play an objective game mode with this 1911 setup or the 1911 in general. I mean like if you're using the 1911 as your secondary for your primary class and it's fine to have to switch out you know pop a few rounds off somebody after you've weakened them or or as a you know your last resort weapon um but just playing with it as your primary is just not not a good idea like you'll see it's not hello knife 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 you'll, okay it's not horrible and we're on fire by god we can't win for losing right now hang on here where'd he go dude what is with the, the wizards okay you know what it's all good we have a rocky road to the start, but no, it's just not. It's just not a good pistol for a primary, especially when you have options like the X16 and the M19. Like those are definitely the two that you can play primaries with, um, and the Deagle. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Deagle is nothing to be messed with. Let me double check my ping real quick. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Can't be blaming the internet. Uh, but I mean, I've had a couple hot dog. We're getting slammed in the puss. Uh, I've had a couple good games with this. This, this gun, this setup, and it's definitely great as a secondary. Okay, them guys are chilling. We're gonna we're gonna step back with a pistol here and just hit them with old grenade. Our teammates gonna run through them first. They should be spawning here now. Yep. 
And why would there not be a butt buddy up on the wall? I'll try to get some, like, and here's the thing. With the long range kills, is actually what took me the longest. I feel bad for just running through that knife guy right there. Oh, whoa. oh I thought he died. I thought a teammate popped him. We gotta win. And we, and we can easily get top of the leaderboard with this setup. Like, I mean, let's be real. Oh, oh, gun guy, gun guy. Go down. Get down. Get down. Sweet. Okay, we're two behind, top of the leaderboard. Hello? Hello? Okay, this one I'm gonna try to grenade. Finish. Oh, oh, that made him push out. That's what we need. Okay, we got an air strike. We'll call that bad boy in right there. Just try to not kill ourselves in the process. Did I always mind that end up killing myself with that thing? Who am I even kidding? Oh my god. Two kills with an airstrike? That's better than normal. In my experience, I just I don't know if I don't know how to use it or, or what the deal is, but okay, we're gonna be a little cheeky here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my what did we just do to that poor fella? I'm just gonna chill here again. Oh. Okay, I'm okay, look. She deserved that, or I mean, it's a female character, I'm sure it's a dude. He or she or it or whatever done did went and deserves that kill. Oh, let's not do that. Chris Kyle's back there with his old sniper. Boop. Dude, what is what, what is with people around these cargo containers? Like, they, they just have the strangest movements. But they're keeping them alive, so I mean, is it really, uh, hello? Is it really that strange? And a lot of these guys must be running ghosts, because we we should be seeing more people on the mini map. Because there's definitely more people in the game. Oh baby, headshots is what this thing is made for. Let me tell you, if you're accurate enough for these things to constantly pop people in the head, then maybe this right here really is the gun for you. But it's just it's all about that. Look, ooh, look at that. Look how you run through people's noggins with it. Open oh, that. Oh my God. Hello, triple kill. Is that gonna be a play of the game? I think it really might be. I said, our, our games can start off a little rocky. Okay, well, ooh, grenade and airstrike kill. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. 17. I don't know what her KD is. Her KD probably isn't great, but if, my, my, my main thing is try to keep a KD of at least three. If I can do that, especially running a pistol that I, I'm not comfortable with or not that good with. Oh, oh, ooh, throwing knives. There you go. Get you some distance up in there. We're close to the end of the game already. We're rocking six, 18 kills. If we can pop 20, I'm going to throw some grenades up in here. I mean, y'all got to see a lot of the pistol action already. Hadn't got too good. We got one long range kill, I think. Here we go. Oh, my God. Don't, okay. Uh, I completely understand if you want to go get your pistols class set up videos somewhere else because, man, this guy's done did went and hopped up to the top of the leaderboard. That right there is not okay. Oh, we'll see what the KD is. I think the KD we're slightly we're we're at two point something. But did we get play of the game though? No, we didn't. How did we not get play of the game? This guy better got a four piece. Or did he still some right kills? Oh, that was yeah, okay. So he got a four piece. That's what it was. We got a nice three piece right there. Reconnect my controller. What are you talking about, game? My controller's connected. Okay, well, look. If you like the 1911, because I've seen a couple people in the comments of the other videos said they wanted to see a 1911 video, and here it is in terms of the primary using the pistol as the primary gun class setup um but just for the record i'm going to be doing a pistol comparison for like and showing damage at distance with certain like different setups and stuff once i get my pistols platinum which at the moment i'm one camo away with the deagle so the deagle class setup will be next and then i'll be doing the 357 mag revolver and then after that i'll have a, a like i'll do a separate class video set up for each of those and then there will, will be like an an end thing where i compare them all together once i have the beautiful 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 platinum camo but there you go guys there was uh, some tdm gameplay with the 1911 I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Y'all seem to. These seem to be revitalizing my channel after that long year and a half uh, break I took. But I'm glad to be back. It's fun to make these videos. And I hope to see y'all in the future the next one. So until, uh, until the next one, adios.